Hello, hey everyone, what's up? So, welcome to our brand new session. We did everything. We have done the revision things. We have studied all the concepts. We have revised all the concepts. We have done all questions also. Only one thing was remaining, right? What was remaining? Case-based questions, right? And that's why we are here. Physics case-based questions. Good evening. Disha, Rohan, Penel, very good, nice. Anchita, you were there in the last session also. Wow. <laughs> hey. Srishti, Parth, Gungun, hello. Penel, how are you? I'm good here. Yeah? Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I think exams are near, na? so you are, you are very much focused on sessions. That's a good thing, actually. <laughs> hey, Parth. Good afternoon. Afternoon? Evening, okay, na? Case study, yes. Hey, thank you, Papiya. Same to you. Papiya, you're also there in the last session. Wow. Pura knowledge chahiye. You want all the knowledge in the world, na? It's a good thing, actually. Yeah, nice. All right, good evening, Samayak, Ravi, Gobika, Yasharth. Hey, hello. And I hope last session was. Yes, Black Day, today. Yes, Shilpa. The Pulwama attack. Yes, Rishti. Today is the Black Day also. Black Day means, Chitra, uh, around sure, three years back, the Pulwama attack happened on the same day. Uh, that's why. Hello, Adira, Vishal, Rohan, Ashwin. All right. Thank you, Gunman. Same, same with me. Rohan, yeah, I mean, I know. Today is Black Day also. All right. Hey, Charvi. So, I hope last, uh, last session was helpful. Yes, many soldiers died in that, in that attack. It's all right, it's okay. Let's, let's come back to the session. We are done with the formalities, right? So, Shilpa, shout out, shout out, you know what the deal in my session is. Give good answers, ask good questions, your name will definitely be taken. Yes, Lakshmi, <laughs> you do this every time. <laughs> I remember you. All right, Parth, completely energized. So, all right, let me give you a brief context. Case-based questions. The biggest problem people face in case-based questions, believe me, first is English. Lamba, lamba question, hota, right? The question statement is too long. You have to read it patiently. You have to understand it, what it is trying to tell and what it is trying to ask from you. So that is one problem. Next is writing the answers. Right? So these are the two very basic problems in case-based questions. And that's why we are having a separate session on this, this one. All right. So I would say, yes, Parth, English language. So questions Srishti is giving. So it's OK. <laughs> we will we'll move to questions. But the reason I'm telling you this is because in each questions, right? Read it properly. Because if you are in a hurry, you'll make a mistake in such questions. Read it patiently. Yes, Disha, patience matters. Very right. Yes. And and try to answer. Try to answer in the chat. But you know what? Today we'll have three polls also. Three poll questions also. So we are trying this new today. Samyak, Hindi English rahega. Again, I'm telling you, I want you to push towards English. Kal din vahi kaam aayega or problem hoti hai. So that's why I'm saying, Yes, intricate language, Neetu. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes, you're right, actually, there. So, yes, come on. Let's start. Menti nahi hai, Srishti. I'll tell you the exact reason menti kyu nahi hai. Yes. Oh, hey, Chitra. You're in eighth. Yes, today we have poll question. Menti is not there, but poll question is there. Three poll questions are there. All right. Guys, let's start. You have the question. Why? You are trying to compete with the global world, right? Hindi is something aata hai mujhe. I can use it. But English bhi aana chahiye with equally good importance. I'm not saying Hindi could niche kar do. Na. Both equal. You should know both. Alright? Thank you, Lakshmi. <laughs> Hamla bol diya. Yes, come on, guys. First question. Lot of text. But read it. Come on. Nice, Yashar. 
सो लेट्स रीड टूगेदर है ना अमित वॉन्ट्स टू डू एन एक्टिविटी टू प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिक करंट विदाउट यूजिंग अ बैटरी ओके फाइन अमित वॉन्ट्स टू डू इट ही कैन डू इट ही यूजेज अ मैग्नेट अटैच टू द फ्री एंड ऑफ अ स्प्रिंग माउंटेड ऑन द वॉल एंड अ गैल्वनोमीटर विच इज कनेक्टेड टू ए कॉयल ऑफ इंसुलेटेड कॉपर वायर द रीजन आई एम टेलिंग यू यू शुड बी वेरी फोकस्ड ऑन द लैंग्वेज इज इफ आई डोंट इवन गिव यू दिस डायग्राम With this language itself, you should be able to visualize what the question is asking from you, है ना क्या कर रहा है अमित को वॉट अमित वॉन्ट्स टू डू ही वॉन्ट्स टू प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिक करंट विदाउट अ बैटरी ओके फाइन नेक्स्ट ही यूजेज अ मैग्नेट अटैच टू द फ्री एंड ऑफ अ स्प्रिंग माउंटेड ऑन द वॉल ठीक है स्प्रिंग है देर इज वन स्प्रिंग ऑन द वॉल एंड देर इज अ मैग्नेट अटैच टू दैट स्प्रिंग फाइन और राइट यस शिवा आई रिमेंबर ओ यस संयुक्ता सॉरी माई बैड यू आर संयुक्ता राइस कमान हाँ हाँ यस 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 वेरी गुड सूरज यस हे चैतन्या करंट विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड करेक्ट करेक्ट है ना सो दैट्स वाई लैंग्वेज मैटर्स रीडिंग पेशेंटली मैटर्स विजुअलाइजेशन मैटर्स फाइन नाउ एंड अ गैल्वनोमीटर व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड टू द कॉयल ऑफ इंसुलेटेड कॉपर वायर यू हैव टू मेक अ मेंटल पिक्चर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट कम टू द पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन what will he observe when the spring is getting stretched and explain the reason all right now the whole question is making sense it is in your mind fine so let's start what will he observe when the spring is getting stretched and explain the reason so i understand vidush you are correct over there electromagnetic induction is the principle behind it yes very good guys focus ha Yes, yes, come on. Yes, Bhagya, you are right. The principle is electromagnetic induction. What is happening? What is happening? If there is a relative motion between the magnet and the coil, current will be produced. It will depend. How much will be the deflection? It will also depend on. Don't worry, I'll tell you. Yes, per unit length. Per unit length. Okay. Yes, very good, Ayush. That's a very, very correct statement. Relative speed matters. How fast this magnetic field is changing, that matters. All right. So, what will you observe first of all when the spring is getting stretched? Principle is electromagnetic induction, and you have given the answer. That's correct. Yes. How will you write the answer? Is the next challenge. Yes, you will observe a deflection. Very good, Saroj. Yes, that's right. Deflection is yes. Emitter, galvanometer. See, emitter measures the magnitude of current. How much current is flowing? Galvanometer can also tell you the direction of the current. Is taraf hai ke is taraf hai, right? So that's fine. Yes, come on. How to write the answer? I'll tell you. Galvanometer needle shows deflection. If it is showing deflection, means current is produced. This is due to the phenomena of electromagnetic induction. That is. the motion of magnet with respect to coil produces an electric or induced current through the coil do you see very very nice and precise choice of words what will you observe you will observe a deflection fine why will you observe because the principle is electromagnetic induction means what means the motion of magnet with respect to coil produces induced current through the coil simple hai na sensitive it's not really necessary it can show you direction also deflection of galvanometer both sides it's needle in the middle ammeter needing a needle is on one side shiva ha kind of yes yes all right so this question is done all right let's move to the part b will there be any difference in the observation if the spring stretches gradually or suddenly gradually matlab kya fast jaldi hai na gradually means quickly suddenly sorry oh my bad my bad gradually means slowly and suddenly means quickly my bad correct hare krishna navjot galvanometer a device which will show you deflection based on how much current is there it will also show you the direction by going either of the ways hai na iska needle beech mein rehta the needle is in the middle more deflection more current Direction of current changes, it can go either ways. ठीक है, that's fine. हाँ, slowly, yes. Gradually means slowly. My bad, I got carried away. <laughs> I would say. Yes, correct. So, 
What is the difference in observation if spring stretches gradually or suddenly? Now, someone told me, huh, that relative motion, relative speed is necessary. Yes, Lakshmi, got it, got, got my mistake. Samyak, yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Nice, yes. Okay, Ayush, yeah, I think Ayush you told, na? Relative speed matters. How fast the magnetic field is changing. If it is changing quickly, means more current will be induced. If it is changing slowly, less current will be induced. And that is the concept, electromagnetic induction, that is what is said. So when you see this, slow change, you will see deflection of needle is little bit. Now, next case, watch now, watch carefully. You see deflection is more. Now. You ask me why no menti. I can't do all these things in menti. Animation is not there in menti. And you love animations. I want animations to explain it to you. And that's why I'm saying this is going like this. Right? So you should know why we are not doing menti. Right? Yes, correct, Yashat. Very good. So you saw when the change was sudden, there was more deflection. When the change was gradual, less deflection. Right? So how will you write the answer? The deflection in the galvanometer increases when the spring stretches suddenly, right? And, and you will also write, if it is gradual, the deflection will be less. Hey, Navjot. Animations, it's PowerPoint. All right, come on, part C. More speed equals, yes, Disha, correct. What will be the change in observation of the magnet is kept stationary inside the coil? Read the question. Statement is given to you if the magnet is kept stationary, but we know what is required. Relative motion is required, right? Yes, Suraj, you are right over there. Very good. Yes, Srishti, correct. Lakshmi, nice. Yes, Charvi, that's true. Thank you, Gaming Guru. All right, yeah. Magnet is stationary. There is no relative motion. Means no induced current. And yes, galvanometer will show no deflection, Bhagya. Yeah, that's very true. And it will not deflect if the magnet is kept stationary inside the coil. This much is enough. Anna? Fine. Now you know how to answer these questions. No stories. It's okay, no need of writing long answers, not required, be precise, be point to point, that's enough. Yes, Disha, correct. Very good, very good, nice batch is here. I really love this batch here. All right guys, come on. That question, done and dusted, we know that. Let's move forward. Let's, let's move to motors, right? You love motors, I know. Come on, next question. Yes, Gaming Guru, correct. Nitesh, you are right. All right, come on. Next question, again. Never be afraid of the length of a question. In case-based study, never be afraid of the length of the question, I'm telling you. Just have this in your heart. Doesn't matter how long a question is, you will be able to do it. Kuch nahi hai. You have studied everything. Just understand it, right? Take care. Thank you, Lakshmi. Come on. Yes, magnetic effect of current. Yes, sir, you are right. Points, Shrishti, very important. Words doesn't matter. Are you conveying the answer correctly in your written statement? That is important, right? How many points you are conveying? That is important. All right. So electric motor is device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. All right, we knew that, right? So. Electric motor is the important component used in electrical devices such as fan, blower, refrigerator, computer, etc. Now tell me, in this case-based question, was all this information required to you? No. So that's why I'm saying, a lot of times case-based questions will give you extra informations, random informations also. But why? To increase the length of the question. Hai na? So that's why I'm saying, don't be afraid of the length. Okay? The schematic diagram of an electric motor is given below. Diagram is also given to you, correct? Nice. I can see answers are coming in. All right, Papiya. Session ke baad, session ke baad. 
Yes. Correct, correct. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> yeah, first part of the question. What is the working principle of an electric motor? And I saw a lot of correct answers over there. Very good, Nikesh. Yes. Yes, Saroj, you are right. Disha, correct. Anchita, focus. I understand here, yeah, it happened with me also. While studying now, I used to get distracted, but that's why it's okay. I'm just telling you, focus. All right. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Nice, yeah, nice, very good. So, let's start. Let's break the question part by part and answer it. All right. What is the working principle of electric motor? Working principle is what? We know that, right? It is the current carrying conductor, the force acting on a current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field. Simple, hai na? <laughs> yeah, puppy, I know. So, how will you write the answer? Question was very long. There was a lot of statement. But the answer is what? Simple. When a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. This is one line answer. No need to write stories. That's enough. You have conveyed the point. Simple, right? Ha, correct. South to north. Ha, yes. Okay. So this question, now, whenever diagrams are given to you as a question, it becomes important that you refer to that diagram when you are answering that. So I'll tell you because I saw some, uh, hey Adarsh, Adarsh, give answers, your name will be taken, don't worry. That is the deal in this session. Interact and get your names taken. All right. Adarsh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Come on. So. First part done, fine, all right. Princi uh, Samyak, see, wo principle nahi hai. that is a way to find the direction of force, right? Principle kya hai? That a current carrying wire in a magnetic field experiences a force, wo principle hai. Force kaise, direction kaise nikalna hai? Wo hai rule, right? FBI, sorry, FBI is your, uh, yours and mine's little secret, the left hand rule, right? Ninth revision, uh, Ariba, we did that. I think 5, 5 p.m. was that session. Papiya got distracted again. Yes, Ishtiak, very good. Nice. All right. After half of a rotation of the armature, what will be the direction of the forces on arms A, B and C, D? The question has marked the arms A, B and C, D. Hai na? In this, I can see some correct answers and some wrong answers, but ha. No, Anshita, it's not. It's not. You'll love it, I'm telling you. All right. So, south, north, and next what? If it was in this initial condition, right? It's okay, Papiya. So, if you get this initial condition, upward force on AB, why upward force on AB? You should know that. See, north in this direction, current is in that direction, which means force is upward. So AB is upwards and CD is downwards. That's true. What is the question asking you? The question is asking you after half of a rotation, right? After half of a rotation. Fine. Hai na? Adarsh, spam ki nahi hai. <laughs> All right. So, after half rotation, what will happen? AB will go on you on that side. Hai na? AB will go on that side. This AB will go on that side. And this CD will come on this side. Right? Hai na? <laughs> it's okay, Gaming Guru. So, yeah. Commutator, don't worry, Nitu. It's coming. Haan, Papi, I think Adarsh is doing Adarsh is going to be timed out very sure, very soon. <laughs> yes, after half rotation. So now watch. Ab kya ho hai? A B current is in this direction. Alright. But the magnetic field is in mm, how to do it? Ha, like this. Magnetic field is in that direction, current is in this direction, and this is downwards. So downwards is A B and upwards is CD, right? Ha, Avni, you are right. Yes, you should read the question correctly. 
यस दिशा दैट्स ट्रू हाफ रोटेशन के बाद आफ्टर हाफ ऑफ द रोटेशन एंड दैट्स वाई दिस क्वेश्चन बिकेम रियली इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो वी कैन बी कंफ्यूज दैट्स वाई फाइन यस नाउ आई एम गेटिंग करेक्ट आंसर्स हे चैतन्य नाइस बीटीएस आर्मी और राइट सो नाउ वी आर क्लियर राइट आफ्टर हाफ ऑफ रोटेशन सो हाउ विल यू आंसर आफ्टर हाफ रोटेशन ऑफ द आर्मीचर यू विल जस्ट सिंपली गिव द आंसर ठीक है नो नीड टू एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग अगेन डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स ऑन ए बी विल बी डाउनवर्ड एंड ऑन सी डी इट विल बी अपवर्ड सिंपल दैट्स इनफ है ना यस ओ आई थिंक समवन आंसर द कम्प्यूटर वाला क्वेश्चन ओके आयुष ठीक है सी before half rotation before the half rotation ab was in this direction so always first of all what you will use fbi hai na because you have to find the force this index finger point from north to south north to south current you will point in this direction why ab positive hai na is taraf where is my pen sorry this is plus this is minus so current is going in this direction so ab here current in this side force upwards force was up and in cd current is in this direction force is down hai na use like this after half rotation again think after half rotation kya ho gaya ab came this side and current is in this side and that's why it is downwards thik so guys in the exam don't be shy to get up on your seat and use the left hand rule do whatever you want theek hai do whatever you want but get the correct answer no one will bother People might look at you. क्या कर रहा है ये आदमी ऐसे 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 Do whatever you want, but find the answer, right? Papiya, don't fight. हाँ split rings. How did how they work? See, okay. अच्छी next next question is on the split rings. If the rings C1 and C2 are not connected, what would be its effect on the अरे वाह. So, Srusti, your question, <laughs> your question is this question. All right, ठीक है. All right. हाँ नॉट इज शाय नो शाय राइट ठीक है इफ द रिंग सी वन एंड सी टू आर नॉट कनेक्टेड वॉट वुड बी इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन द वर्किंग ऑफ द मोटर सो सृष्टि यू आज दिस क्वेश्चन है ना सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेरी गुड दिशा द कॉल वुड ऑसिलेट यस चार वी दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट सो if these split rings are not there you know what the problem will be this plus and minus it won't interchange i want this to interchange i always want let's say if this is the coil na if this is the coil i always want in this side the current is going like this and in this side the current is going like this why because i always want in this side the force is upwards and this side force is always downwards but if you are not changing this polarity problem kya ho raha hai Adarsh, <laughs> so I think Adarsh, you are still here. I thought you are blocked, huh? <laughs> so the thing is, what will happen now? If you don't change the polarity, the problem will be this current is going in this direction. So you will find the force here. But when this positive side come here, current is going in this direction. Force will again be here. So what is happening? Force was here. The coil got rotated. Forces here, the coil got rotated again, and it keeps on doing the oscillation. Yes, a fan. Yes, fan will do a dance that you will not imagine. So we don't like that. Yes. Yes, it will oscillate. All right. Fine. Others, don't distract people here. What are you doing? Others, if ask some good questions here related to session. these things we'll talk separately yes oscillation will happen all right <laughs> so how to write the answer so uh, srishti i i hope you got your answer hai na if split rings were not there this polarity change will not happen hai na that's that's one problem guys ha uh, huh, adarsh one more message and you know what you'll be blocked i'm telling you so ask some good questions man all right come on let's let's answer this question c1 and c2 
are the split rings also known as commutators tick right yes lakshmi it is there but let's talk about this in the end hai na samir please ask it out don't worry fine they reverse the direction of current at each half rotation so i understand you got that but also understand also understand how to write this thing hai na it also some you ask the doubt don't worry i i saw your question you can ask the doubt all right ha saroj good c1 and c2 are the split rings also known as commutators they reverse the direction of current at each half rotation if you are thinking how to put this then this is your answer so in connecting wires what is what is the what is the uh, voltage drop zero right so other that's the answer if you remove resistance from the connector yes yes and some of your question is not there still if split rings are not connected the armature coil will not be able to provide the complete and continuous rotation this much is enough fine yes other shit flows na in conducting wires guys focus focus i think those uh, emojis are distracting i think others it's okay you can ask the question without emojis also all right come on that question is done fine now let's let's talk about this question and this is acha nahi this is not that question so there is a poll question na it's not that one sam was studying while the light of his house went off zeus i think you can but i'm not the person to guide on this i would say you know they we have mentors numbers you can just talk to them all right come on guys next question in front of your screen let's solve it again i'm telling you length will always be big in a case based question but you will not be scared sam was studying while the light of his house went off oh ho he was studying when the light went off it happens fine oh nice i'm getting answers ishtiag very good poll question papiya it's coming it's coming uh, i think next question it is and don't worry it will be it will be in your chat yes yeah preferably sarthak it's that so heating effects correct correct nice the electrician came and examined the fuse first this is what is a case some situation is created hai na sam was studying power went out fine who he called he called the electrician fine examined the fuse first he found that the fuse wire got burnt and the power was restored after he replaced it with another wire of the same material tick this is the whole situation given to you nice yaar very good i got the answers in the chat very good very good what is the working principle involved in the fuse wire and yes you have given me the answer i am i am very sure and your answers are correct heating effect of electric current that's how a fuse works right what happens when the current goes beyond the prescribed or the limiting value the heat generated is so much this melts right the material the wire of fuse melts and breaks the circuit it's a protective device we all know that fine Yes, heating effect Akshi, correct. All right. Ooh, nice. Papi, I'm not sure. <laughs> I I think he's not asking. So, yes, correct, correct, very good. Next. So, how do you write the answer? So, it's okay to write heating effect of current, but just mention it a little bit yeah give some supporting statement if a current larger than the specified value of the current flows through the fuse wire its temperature increases due to the heating effect of electric current and the fuse wire gets burnt right so the reason we are doing this session today is so that i can give you these statements yeah how to write a proper answer theek hai current if becomes more than a prescribed value the heating will be so much because of the heating effect of current it will melt right and the fuse gets burnt marks are one it's okay lakshmi don't don't feel sorry here it's okay nice ishtiak 
all right how is a fuse wire connected in a circuit in series or parallel why so now mind it you know you are talking of which fuse don't think we are talking of an appliance fuse remember the case what was the case sam ke ghar mein power chala gaya tha right power went off in sam's house electrician came looked at the main fuse changed the wire which fuse main fuse and that's why this fuse so you can be confused with now appliance also have that small fuse na these fuses but and the main wala fuse looks like this uh, something like this bad drawing hai na so that's why in series is the answer a fuse is always connected in series such that current passes through the fuse wire before passing through any of the appliances this is a main fuse connected in the socket in case of large current flow or short circuit condition fuse wire will melt and break the circuit to protect the electrical appliances connected in the circuit you have given everything connected in parallel hai na to parallel mein kya hota hai it will only protect its branch rest current it has no control na that's one thing yes shiva correct lakshmi right samyak disha yashard very good wah wow. i love this batch Come on, see. <laughs> Shiva. Oh, sorry. Uh, some mute. I think. All right. Yes. Electrician replaces the fuse wire of resistance. Ah, this is an important one. Come on, watch. Arey Akash, it's all in the mind, man. Nothing is there. If you are just feel confident, you know everything, yeah, है ना? You have revised so much, you have done practice. What else is there? Online, offline, आए का तो question ही ना? Then what? Domestic, हाँ, circuit is reduced, but this is not exactly. There is a grey area, ना? So these can come, Samyak. All right, yes. हाँ, come on, guys, focus, focus, focus. Question, question, come on. Electrician replaces the fuse wire of resistance R with a wire of double radius. All right, you know the wire was burnt. Electrician came, he changed it with a new wire which has double the radius. Ishtiak. All right, I can see the answer. I won't tell you it is correct or wrong. Mind it, guys. Read the statement properly. What is doubled? Radius is doubled. Right. And the same length as that of the previous wire. What will be resistance of the new wire? Guys, focus. अरे अंशिता सब हो जाता है यार. Don't worry. Come on. Resistivity. Ah ah. Risha. Resistivity depends on what? Material, na? Here you have changed the radius. Doesn't affect resistivity. Yes. Okay. Aditya. Right, Ayush. Yes, very good, guys. Guys, focus, focus. See what mistake you did. I'll tell you. R equals rho l upon a. You all knew that. Double is the radius, not the area. If you are saying double radius means area also double, there is a mistake over there. Why? Why, sir? What cylindrical? Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> area is. Pi r square. If radius is doubled, means area will be pi 2 r square, 4 pi r square, four times. No, so area will become four times. Resistance will become one by four times. Am I right? Yeah, correct. Yes. Now you are right. Yes. Some low is fine. We need quantity here. That's what the question is demanding from us. Correct. So that's why resistance of fuse wire R equals rho l upon a. A is pi r square. R dash is 2 r, and A dash will be 4 a. And that's why you will use it in the formula and put as r by 4. Now this is a complete answer, है ना? Yes, Yogi, that's true. If the question is saying the cross-sectional area becomes four times, then you can take it. But it is saying radius is twice, means area will be four times, है ना? अच्छा मोबोनी सो आई टेल यू लुक एट द आंसर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी द क्वेश्चन वो सेम डबल रेडियस है ना डबल रेडियस व्हाट इज अ वायर इट्स अ सिलेंडर अ सिलेंडर्स क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया दिस सर्कल सर्कल्स एरिया इज पाई आर स्क्वायर वी नो दैट है ना पाई आर स्क्वायर 
So pi into now radius is doubled. It's 2 r square. So this becomes 4 pi r square. So new area is 4 a, right? Oh, my bad. Got this, hai na? All right. So yeah, that's why I, I I I was thinking you might make mistake in this question, but thank God I took this question today. Numerical value because the question is giving you numerical double radius. If the question was saying the radius increased, you can say resistance decreased, but it is saying radius is doubled. It wants quantity from you. That's why. Oh, Yogi, sorry. So these questions uh, which you are asking me, if the question will tell you, it will, let's say area becomes 4A keeping the volume constant or stretched then you can do this but if it is saying length is or sorry radius is doubled don't assume volume is constant it's a different thing slightly different ha in theory you can samyak all right this question will have a poll question all right and i know papia was waiting for this yeah samyak you can you can do that if in theory you are talking about that if if area increases resistance decreases that is fine not a problem with that Yes, Lakshmi, that's correct. All right, come on. This question. Read this question. Uh, I'll explain this. Ayush, okay, sure. All right, come on. Yes, yes, yes. So, Reading the question, na? Ramesh sir is demonstrating an experiment. So you know what you have, you might have noticed in case based questions, lot of names are taken. Na? Sometimes Sam, sometimes Ramesh sir, sometimes someone else, right? <laughs> Chandu ke question, na? Pata nahi yaar ab. Exam mein kuch bhi aa sakta hai. It could be in, in NCRT, Paheli and Bujo are two famous kids I have seen. So maybe Paheli and Bujo might come. Ha. So. This is a poll question. It's okay. If you don't, Ishtiyag, if you don't answer in the chat, that will do. Poll will come. I'll tell you when. So, Ramesh said demonstrating experiment. Lab with four identical bulbs, each of resistance 4 ohm as shown in the figure. So, diagram is given to you. Hai na? Please take my name, Saurabh. <laughs> All right. In which emitter will he observe the minimum and maximum reading? Now, watch. This circle over there, though, that is what? That is the timer. So when I start it, 60 second will come and a poll will start. You can answer in the poll. I want to see how many polls, you know, we get correct and some, you know, we get wrong. All right. So I'll start this. Your poll starts now. All right. Come on. Answer this in this poll question. Nice. I can see answers also. I mean, detailed answers also. Right? Oh, nice, nice. Guys, come on, answer. We have 30 more seconds. Ha. Ah, I like this variation. Na? Someone gives wrong answer and this whole matrix, you know, uh, uh, fiddles here and there. Yes. Come on, come on. Mind it, minimum and maximum. In which emitter will he observe the minimum and maximum reading? And time is out, I think. Right? 60 votes are there. Yes. What is the answer? I see, you know what. 75% is for option B. Very good. Yes, correct. So that is the correct answer. Why is this correct answer? Minimum. Minimum will be, see, these are all identical bulbs, right? Means resistance is same for both, for, for all of them, right? Think of them resistance, R, 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 R. In this branch, voltage is same, but there are two resistances, right? So if the voltage is, let's say, V, the current will be how much? V by 2R. Here it is V by R. Here it is V by R, right? So that's why minimum is in A2. That's fine. Correct. Misclick okay. Yeah, it's okay, Dave. Koi baat nahi. This happens. So that's one problem in online exams. Misclick ka. So that's why I'm saying if you are doing online exams wherever, 
मेक श्योर यू क्रॉस चेक योर आंसर ठीक है सॉरी आई फॉर गॉट वट आई वॉज टेलिंग यू हाँ एंड मैक्सिम रीडिंग सो मैक्सिम रीडिंग इज अब ए फोर में क्या है इफ दिस इज आई वन इफ दिस इज आई टू इफ दिस इज आई थ्री वट ए फोर इज मेजरिंग इट इज मेजरिंग कंबाइंड राइट आई वन प्लस आई टू प्लस आई थ्री करेक्ट इट इज इन सीरीज सो दैट्स वाई ए फोर इज द आंसर ए टू एंड ए फोर यस हाँ लक्ष्मी यस नाइस सोनाली और राइट ठीक है गाइज पोल क्वेश्चन इज नॉट डन थैंक यू सत्यम It's not done. We have we have more poll questions. In which ammeter will he observe the minimum and maximum reading? Oh, we don't have more poll questions, huh? I thought it was there. So you know this, right? When you write the answer, what will you do? By Ohm's law, I equals V by R. Then you will explain. For the same voltage, value of current will be minimum when resistance is maximum. Equivalent resistance of bulb B and C will be maximum as they are connected in series, and current through them will be minimum. What you are doing here is you are explaining, right? Why A two is minimum and why A four is maximum? Simple. Uh, Rishit, ठीक है? Don't worry, I'll tell you. See, watch. देखो, if let's say this V, this voltage is V, यहाँ पर V होगा, यहाँ पर भी V होगा. Why? In parallel voltage remains same. No, यहाँ पर भी V होगा. Right? If यहाँ पर R है, यहाँ पर R है, यहाँ पर R है, यहाँ पर R है. तो इस second फर्स्ट वाले में कितना है करंट v बाय r दिस इज i1 दिस इज i2 इक्वल्स v बाय r2 दिस i3 इक्वल्स सॉरी दिस इज v बाय 2r दिस इज v बाय r सो यू सी राइट i2 इज द लीस्ट यस श्योर 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 यस नाउ सो a2 इज लीस्ट एंड a4 इज मैक्सिमम एंड दैट्स हाउ यू विल आंसर इट फाइन करेक्ट दिशा और राइट Come on, next question. Ramesh sir, demonstrating experiment. This is all fine. This is the statement. Now part B. What will he observe if bulb C gets fused? You have four options, and you know what? It's a poll question again. Thirty seconds. I'll give you. Come on. It's okay, Shyam. Poll is there. Answer there. All right. Five, four, three. Yes, good, nice. Few wrong answers. Some of them might be misclicks. I understand, but yes, all of you gave correct answers. I'm pretty sure. What happened? Bulb C got fused. This is the bulb C. If bulb C gets fused, what happens? Think. Bulb C fused. this whole branch is done right the circuit is broken for this branch but in parallel the good thing is it doesn't affect the other branches right oh it's okay it's okay koi baat nahi so a1 and a3 they will still work means a and d they will still work and that's the answer so bulb b and c are connected in series and combination of b and c are connected in parallel with bulb a and bulb d That's why when C gets fused, branch containing bulb C will become open and hence bulb B will also not glow. A and D will glow. Why? Because they are in parallel. Simple, है ना? Clear. Very good. चलो भाई चलो. Last, last. Part C. One more poll question. Ramesh sir is demonstrating. I won't repeat this statement again. How would you connect the remaining three bulbs such that the combination has an equivalent resistance of six ohms? Now this is. Yes, sir. I I do. All right. Come on. 60 minutes for this this is again a good question i mean these kind of questions very frequently come nice disha i'm glad you are enjoying the poll i uh, see i knew you are missing menti so that's why we thought why not give you poll over here so yeah just a try to replicate what you guys love come on yes okay i can see c is in the lead right now and we have 30 seconds left nice nice cool i mean you know what i am pretty sure that you guys are 
very much ready now for exams. I mean, you know, it feels really good. All right. Nice. You guys are correct. And you know why you are correct. Why? It was 4 ohm each. You have to go for 6 ohm, right? You have to make 6 ohm. If you connect all of them in series, what happens? 4 plus 4 plus 4, 12. If you connect all of them in parallel, it becomes what? 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, right? It becomes what? 3 by 4 means 4 by 3, right? This becomes the R. It is around what? 1.33. No, you want in between. You want 6 means it is going to be combination, right? Yes. So 4 and 4 in parallel, this becomes 2 and 2 plus 4 is 6 and that's how you do this. Fine. Very good. Nice. <laughs> it's okay, Srishti. Nice, Srishtiyag. Very good. And how will you write the answer? You will make the diagram. Okay? Make the diagram. It's a very good habit in exams, especially in subjective exams. Convert this. Find this and make this like this. That's enough. So, I would say let's stop today. I mean, I had one more question. But you know what? We have done that question many times. So, I will not do that question again. This question was regarding this thing. Uh, insulated copper wire is bent in the shape of helical coil. Solenoid is there. And you know this question, guys. It's okay. Come on. I, I, it's okay. You can do this question. And if you want... You can take a screenshot of this question. That I can do. I'm just, I'll just go down. You can take a screenshot. But this question, I'm sure you all will do because you have done this question multiple times. Oh, it's okay, Yogi. Make draw a diagram, man. It's very important. Okay. Near, far from a solenoid, Shushti. Inside the solenoid, it's constant and uniform, and right? North South wala concept lagna is kinder. Simple. Right? Because you know time is over. I don't want to stretch this. And that's why I'm just uh, this thing is there. Effect of inserting iron core. When you insert iron core, it becomes electromagnet. Simple. So you can give me answer for this question in the chat also. Take this to be your. It's okay, Ayush. Take it. Don't worry. Uh, this is not a difficult question, guys. You have you know this question. Homework question is Papiya, this one only. So this question becomes your homework question. Again, I'll give you this question. Take the screenshot. So, with this, I would say, we have got you covered. We are trying to get you covered. And I really hope you will do well in your exams, right? Complete term two chemistry in one go, Feb 15th, Tuesday. Thank you. Yes, I do, Ayush. You will see some of my sessions. Thank you. If you feel this is important, this is good. Like, share, subscribe, tell this to your friends. And I really love this batch because I see you guys are very much ready for exams. All the best. Thank you for this amazing and beautiful session. Bye-bye, everyone.